Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a very good day. This is Structural Engineering Laboratory, CES 511, Shear Center and Flow Level 1. As an introduction, if a beam is subjected to bending moments and shear force in a plane, other than the plane of geometry, which passes through the centroid of the section, then bending moment will be accompanied by twisting. In order to avoid twisting and cause bending only, the transverse forces must act through a point which may not coincide with the centroid, but will depend upon the shape of the section and such a point is termed as shear center. In other words, loads must be applied at particular point in the cross section or shear center if the beam is to bend without twisting. The figure shows the experimental setup for the shear center and flow that consists of the specimen that is supported by two support at each side and there is an and there is 13 points to hang the load to find the position of the shear center and the dial gauge to record the reading here are the some specimen that we can use in this experiment the first one is shear center or c channel section second one is the shear center of z section where it shows the position of c is the centroid of the specimen here are the specimen for the angle channel or we call it as a L section and last but not least is shear center of C section or semicircle section. In this experiment, the objective is to determine the position of shear center for semicircle Z section C channel and angle section of the specimen. At the end of this experiment, as a learning outcome, student should be able to determine the shear center of different unsymmetrical section, differentiate the stability of various section due to shear center, and describe the influence of shear center to the structure elements. As the problem statement, most of the cross-sectional member not symmetry in X or Y exists. It will cause bending and twisting. The shear center is a point where the load applied will cause the member bend without twisting. The figure shows the beam is bent and twisting. The second one is beam is bent without twisting. So the position of the shear center is the position of the centroid where the beam will be bent and twisting after we apply the load. This is apparatus for shear center experiment. Before we start this experiment, I'm going to introduce about this experiment. This shear center experiment is to determine the eccentricity of unsymmetrical specimen. So here, for this experiment, we have four types of specimen, which is 
S section specimen, we have C channel specimen, we have Z section specimen, and also C section specimen. So we are going to test each of the specimen in order to determine the eccentricity of this specimen. Now, I'm going to introduce the equipment or the apparatus of this experiment. So, here are the support. Okay. Here are the specimen. Here are the stand for the dial gauge. Here is the dial gauge. Now, we're going to do the experimental setup. First one, we have to install the specimen here. So we have to fit this specimen to both support at both sides. In this specimen, there is two wings okay, at the left and the right of the specimen. Together here, there is a 13 hole that is used to hang the load point okay the, the hole is functioning to determine the position of the eccentricity after we apply the load next we have to fix the down gauge in order to fix up the down gauge we have to fix this down gauge stand and please make sure that this down gauge is 90 degree for both dial gauge. So please make sure that this dial gauge will touch this clip at both sides. This element we call it as a clip. Okay. As usual, after you set up the dial gauge, please make sure that your dial gauge reading here is zero. Now, I'm going to start to apply load to the specimen to take the reading for this shear center. So, for the first reading, I'm going to start with 5 Newton at the first hole here. So, we put this 5 Newton and then we read the value from both down gauge. Okay? After we read and record the data, we have to unload and proceed with the second hole by change and place this hanger to the second hole and set back the dial gauge to zero and apply the same load to this specimen and read the reading from the dial gauge. You have to repeat and complete up to 13 hole to get the shear center of this specimen. The result in the table shows the reading from the dial gauge that we recorded for both dial gauge. Therefore, you have to calculate the difference between the reading from left dial gauge and right dial gauge from hole 1 to hole 13. You have to determine the shear center of the specimen. It is also shows the length between the hole which is 20 millimeter in order for you to determine the centroid of the specimen and the shear center of the specimen therefore each group is required to prepare the experimental report 
based on the data given and you have to choose based on the instruction you have to analyze and interpret the data and include all the analysis and calculation for the needed answer in the conclusion you have to discuss about the result that you obtain as in laboratory works and it should be reflecting with respect to the objective of the experiment here are some of the application that we can use in construction industry by using unsymmetric section first figure shows the application of c section as a column and then second figure shows the c section and l section for wall and shielding supporter that's it thank you